entering week number seven of the regular season going into this week we will be playing against the arizona cardinals who sit at three and three now since we are six games into the regular season i thought you know i'll give you guys a little bit of an update and who is winning each of their own division so you guys know for ours we're behind the Cincinnati Bengals in second at a 4-2 record. In the AFC South, the Texans also have a 4-2 record, but they're actually in first. But AFC East, no surprise here. The Patriots, they're dominating their division at 5-0. Into the AFC West, it's kind of a tight race over here, but currently the Raiders are actually in first place right now at 3-2. In the NFC North, no surprise here. Packers, 5-1, dominating their division as always. Going to the NFC South, another one that is a little bit closer, but the Saints are at 4-2 right now. They are currently in first. The NFC East, this division in real life always is just so close, but right now the Cowboys are also in the lead at 3-2. And, and then in the NFC West, again, not really a surprise. The Seahawks are dominating at 6-0. So, let's just jump straight into our first game of the episode here in week number seven playing against the Arizona Cardinals the first play on defense The very first play that we step on the field and play defense, I get myself an interception. What a way to come out and instantly get a turnover, giving our offense the ball in great field position. And fortunately for us, they didn't put up a field goal. They were able to put seven up. And already early on in this game, we have a lead seven to nothing. But Carson Palmer was coming back and he was striking hard, man. Third and 20, we let up a big first down. And the very next play, David Johnson, man, this guy just kept trying to run the ball, but I've just been getting better and better coming up, making the tackles on the run game. You know, not letting up any big rushing plays. So next play, second and nine. He's taking a shot to the end zone. And Michael Floyd catches a touchdown right over top of my head. I thought I was going to get my second interception in this game, but I guess I was just a step behind. Michael Floyd was able to go up and get the ball. And the Cardinals struck back, put seven points on the board, and things are looking pretty even now. So, next offensive possession for us, we did get a field goal. And I thought right there, yet again, I was going to get another interception, but Jimmy Smith just flew out of nowhere and comes in and gets his own interception, giving us the ball yet again. Now, the offense, you can see the score. Another field goal was put up. I mean, I don't know how things are going to keep going for us if we can only put up field goals every single time we get the ball. Now the Cardinals, they slowly work their way down the field. There's four minutes left in the second quarter. And another massive turnover by yours truly man I mean coming up on the seven yard line on the goal line defense getting my first force fumble in the NFL I am just making play after play racking up all kinds of stats and things are looking good for us right now you can see the score in the third quarter we are up 22 to 7 and not only am I making turnovers happen I'm not letting up any rushing plays either I'm coming up and making a ton of tackles as well so the Cardinals, things were not looking so hot for these guys. On third and 11, Carson Palmer is looking to throw the ball because obviously he's down in this game. And now Will Hill is getting his own interception in this game. And it just seems like the secondary is just so good. We just get constant interception after interception. You can see Will Hill, beautiful play right there to jump right in front of the receiver. Larry Fitzgerald to get the interception. And again, give us another shot to put more points on the board. But of course... You know this offense, it's either usually a field goal or no points. And Cardinals got the ball back. Carson Palmer finally was able to exploit this defense. Lob it right over top of my head. I finally made a mistake after, you know, making so many plays. And we let up a touchdown. 
And it looks like these guys could be right back in this game, 22 to 14. So we're in, at the end of the third quarter now. And these guys, they're trying to put some more points on the board, but running the ball, that's not going to work. So start of the fourth quarter, score is still the same. Cardinals are down by eight points. And at this point, Carson Palmer, man, he was finding his groove with his receivers. Another pass that goes right over top of my head. Third and 13. The coverage was pretty well placed there, but I mean, John Brown was able to get the catch a couple of plays later now. It is fourth and goal. We're making a goal line stand until they go for it on the one yard line. Nobody was covering the tight end and the Cardinals strike back again, score another touchdown and things are very, very close now in this ball game. So they went for the two point conversion. They didn't get it. So they are still down. We currently are up still against the Cardinals first and 10. I mean, again, I don't know what was happening, but Carson Palmer was starting to find all of his receivers and connect all of his passes. Now, on a first and goal, they made it all the way down to the six-yard line. And it is Michael Floyd. Yet again, for now, his second receiving touchdown. And the Arizona Cardinals now currently have the lead in this game. So they got the ball back, but thankfully... This defense was able to use all of our timeouts, stop them on third down, and give our offense one last chance to win this game. So let's see what they can do. First play, a 15-yard pass to Crockett Gilmore. Rashad Perryman, a 27-yard completion. Things are looking good now. An incomplete pass. Back to Crockett Gilmore for six. Steve Smith for 12. Rashad Perryman, the rookie. Gets the receiving touchdown. Although the Cardinals, they're still not out of this yet. They're on the 20 yard line. But it's okay because I was there to get the game winning tackle and we are walking out of this stadium with a crazy victory of 30 to 27. Brashad Perryman, the rookie, that was his second receiving touchdown in that game. And I mean, what a crazy game. That was one of the closest we've had this entire season now. Going back into the men, you can see the, the news. Kalichi Osimile, our starting left guard, is finally back from his injury. And it also said that two prolific offenses will be battling it this week. And you can see we're currently the number two offense and the Chargers are the number three. So this will be an interesting game to go into week number eight. Now, with all of my XP from that last game, I decided to use it on my zone coverage, making it from an 85 to an 89 also making my overall player an 81 overall to now an 82 overall so slowly but surely we are upgrading our players so jumping right into the next game against the san diego chargers we are now playing home first play on defense i mean again i'm already making plays on the tackling game not letting danny woodhead go anywhere with this ball make it two tackles now back to back and i mean so far this defense is playing pretty well so now we are faced with a third and eight let's see if we can stop this offense and get them off of the field. Again, man, our first possession on defense. Now two games in a row. I am coming out on the first possession, getting an interception. And again, almost. Another interception in consecutive drives for this defense. I do get a pass defended, which is my first in my career. Those are kind of hard to come by, especially as you know, nobody really throws my way. But two interceptions now in this episode. And as I say that nobody really targets me, Keenan Allen is able to get past both me and Jimmy Smith. Phillip Rivers finds them right over top of us. And they are striking back, putting up seven on the board, and they are definitely right back in this game. Now, the Chargers, they were able to drive all the way down the field. We're towards the end of the second quarter. And on third and five, Keenan Allen, again, man, goes in for his second receiving touchdown, giving the Chargers the lead at the moment. But we're jumping to the second half. Our offense, thankfully, was able to put up seven points, but we are just going to, you know, go ahead, jump right into the second half now. We have the lead at 17 to 14.
way I just returned that kickoff for a touchdown. I mean, what else can I do for this team, man? I'm putting up points on the board myself by returning kickoffs. I'm getting interceptions. I'm forcing fumbles. And on this play, C.J. Mosley, the defense just continues. I mean, what a beautiful play. The pursuit by C.J. Mosley to come up behind Danny Woodhead. Watch this for man. He comes out of nowhere, punches the ball right out of his hand to yet again give this team another turnover and things for the Chargers. They weren't looking so good. They were not able to produce, put anything up on the board, and this offense continued to dominate as well as this defense, man, just constantly putting up turnover after turnover. And the Chargers, they were able to drive all the way down the field at the nine-yard line. It is a first and goal. Phillip Rivers has all day in the pocket, man, but I think that was Brandon Williams. You stripped the ball away from Phillip Rivers. Another fumble on this team, man. And that is pretty much going to secure us this win. Walking out of this home game with a 38-17 victory. Crazy game, man. Tons of turnovers as always. And just what a performance by me in general in this whole episode, man. I just did everything I could to get those wins in both those games. So next episode, we will be playing in Week 10. I skipped Week 9 because, you know, that was our bye week. So looking at the division now, though. We have now taken first place at 6-2. The Steelers are behind us at 6-3. And, and the Bengals, man, they dropped all the way down to third place. Now, just a quick little update at the standing. Since we are directly at the halfway point in the season, there are currently four teams that have a 6-2 and two record. And, of course, the Patriots and Seahawks, they are currently sitting at 8-0. and oh. Now, since, like I said, we are at the exact halfway point, eight games through the season, I thought I will give you guys a little bit of an update on my player stats 76 tackles in eight games that is a lot to have as a safety 12 of which are tackles for losses we currently have four interceptions in our career in our rookie season tied with will hill and first in our team we continue down the stats we got one pass deflection which you saw in this episode or in this last game we have one forced fumble again which you saw in the first game of this episode and we also have one safety man i mean Stats all over the board for my player. Eight games into the season, we are just playing out of our mind. And I mean, we definitely have racked up a ton of stats at just eight games into the season. I can't wait to see what we do in the final eight. So hopefully all of you guys are enjoying this series. Next week, week 10, we will be playing against the Jacksonville Jaguars, a 2-6 and six team. I don't know if anybody can defeat us right now the way that we are playing, but hopefully all of you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace.